Hello, and welcome to day six of coding every day until I get a job. So let's resume with our quiz app with the HTML, CSS, JS, and uh, we'll eventually add the Django Python backend. <coughs> so we're getting an error yesterday with the unable to find the package or open um, the package.json. I'll just rerun this again today to see if this was a uh, one-off error or more significant. Okay, I'm just doing npm start here. Let's see if it will run. As you can see, it is here. Maybe it's just not in the correct directory. It's in my app. Um, Oh, okay, so we need to path. Okay, maybe if we do this. And then we do this because it's a problem with where the file is. Maybe this will work. Because it's just about the path of where it is. I'm not totally sure of where to change this. Okay, I've done npm start. Let's see if it will run. Hmm. Nothing going yet. Hmm. Okay, I'll just carry on um, coding whilst we're doing that, and I'll just commit these real quick. Okay, it says npm star uh, rat scripts is not recognized. Okay, I'm just gonna move package.json back then. And commit this team I get have streak again, can't lose that. Uh, 86 day or something. Uh, try and commit this. Oh, this is a private uh, get repository. I'm just gonna hide my screen a minute. Okay. So, if I go to, sorry about the noise, I think there's some fireworks outside. I initialize repository. Hmm. I've got master branch open, but I'm not sure if it's actually. Uh, I'm just going to open in GitHub and see. Hopefully, my it's a private repository if it's public. My app. Um, okay, yeah, it's private. I'll put my screen back on. Okay. Okay, so let's carry on. React scripts is. Okay, I'm just going to do an npm. Store and see if we can get this all working because I don't see why this won't really work. Okay, so question JS. So we're having the check submitted uh, in each one, and we've got the styling for that. Um, so we could have the back end as uh, so we would have the uh, Django back in to replace this. Questions. Um, yeah. Maybe it's an app.js. So we're mapping out the questions and then we can do something like uh, sorry, not p1, h1. I don't, is p1 even a div? Not div, sorry. Um, 
Okay, it's still unable to find. Okay, so we're going to have an H1 of um, quiz out. Why do I keep putting two Zs? Quiz out. Okay. So now maybe we should start thinking about the Django backend and we'll try and sort out these errors later. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on a chat GPT tab. So gonna for intermediate coding project. Okay. So I am doing the oh no. Um what should I say? Um quiz app uh project and I have this so far. I have the other files. Uh, Questions.js is just a file that returns an array with the questions. Um, how would I rewrite this uh, so that it has a back end and so that I could use a uh, Python Django. Please give me a tutorial on this. So integrate uh, backing with Python Django, your quiz uh, follow these steps to set up a Django REST API to serve questions to the front end and handle scores or other quiz data. This setup will involve creating a Django project with a REST API. Uh, so basically what I'm doing in the uh, backend development course, using Django REST framework, DRF, and fetching the data in your React app. So setting up the Django project, um, so we need to create a virtual environment, then do pip install Django. Okay, I'll copy these later. Add quiz backend. Hmm. Okay, um then okay, so let's just see. Uh so define the question model, open quiz model. I'm just gonna check is my screen viewable? Yeah. Okay, so open quizmodels.py and define the question model. Uh, okay, question text. Find migrations. Question serializer. Question list. URLs. Test the API. Okay. Question, uh, question text. Okay, um, so now please rewrite this tutorial uh, given this additional information uh, I am working on. Windows and what else was that? And this is my uh, question.js file. Nope, wrong one. This was the Python, just a uh, normal one. Okay, so if we go to quiz.js, oops, sorry, question.js, we have a Uh, and questions or yes. So if I paste in questions, okay. There we go. So with your data set of windows. Is a tutorial. Okay, so let's go through it. 
So we need to create a virtual environment. Let's try this. On our question, I'm going to create a new terminal. I'm going to to load. But one of our major issues now is the. I suppose maybe we could highlight all of these and move them. But it's packaged a lot. Okay. I'll uh, just control V that. So, do we have Python installed on this? Oh, okay. Hmm. So we need to install Python. How do we run without arguments? Uh, we'll just say with shortcut. Hmm. Maybe if I create a new window, and then we can just run them. Or we just do... Or we just have a server of both. Hmm. No. File, uh, new... Okay, I'm just going to open up a new um, Visual Studio tab window rather. New window. So, I'm not sure if I actually have Python connected to Visual Studio, but we can always try. Uh, open folder. I'm just going to hide this a minute. Can you still see me, I think. Yeah. Okay, wrong one. Visual Studio. Okay, I'm just going to select another folder. So, my desktop. Uh, let's find it. This PC. OneDrive. Uh, users. Me. Where's projects? Yeah, okay. Found projects. And now I'm going to do the new Python backend with that. Python backend with app. Okay, so I've selected that now and we should be ready to go. So I'll create a new file. Um, I'll say yes, I trust the authors. So how would I set up Python on this? Uh, I'll just open the terminal. Terminal, new terminal. Maybe, is there anywhere where I can add Python? Hmm, doesn't seem like to me. Now I'm install Python as an extension. Python. I definitely have uh, Python installed. Python language is for uh, an extension. Yeah, it's just installing. Okay, this code there, which includes this. Okay, that's pretty cool. I actually do like uh, GitHub. They have like GitHub post spaces. It's pretty cool that you can run it in a browser. I actually used to uh, write quite a few of my Visual Studio projects in that. It was just easier. And like for example, 
And like my MongoDB connection works in GitHub's co uh, code spaces, but doesn't work with my local environment, which I'm not sure as to why. But yeah, if I just have my terminal. Ah, there we go. There's no much to hide thing. How would I? Is there Python? Yeah. So run. Start debugging. I just do main.py. 